also, I hope that most of you got the uh, policy advice that uh, David Reamer uh, wrote a summary for and, sent, and I sent it around. I mean, he really is one of these uh, major policy advisors who's worked at all levels of government and he, he um, is an expert on these issues. So that's a useful document to have. Maybe not everybody agrees with it, though. Uh, now, I would like uh, all of you to go around and just very briefly introduce yourselves and give a line or two about your background and uh, let's try to do it as quickly as possible so that we can get down to the business of the meeting. Start with you. My name is Katie Manskis. Um, until the beginning of this year, I actually worked in the state senate for Jeff Claley, who is your state senator. Um, I now work for a project called the Partnership to Fight Chronic Disease. We are both a national and a statewide health care project um, with almost 100 partners nationally and 40 partners in Wisconsin, um, comprised of pretty much all the stakeholders in health care from health systems to organized labor to providers and patient advocates to employer interests. And we um, have an objective of, of putting prevention and wellness at the top of the priority list in healthcare reform as a means to control costs. So we are a very broad coalition with a very narrow focus. Um, and my role here is hopefully to inject that focus into this discussion as much as possible. Did we meet at the window of the room? Yes, we did. <laughs> yes. Okay. My name is Marilyn Shepard, and I'm public health nurse retired. Been with the state, the Division of Public Health, and the Southeast Division of Office, and a consultant to eight different counties in the Southeast Region. So, my, can, my expertise has to do with chronic disease prevention and promotion, and uh, I'm currently on the radio board. What? Currently on what? Greendale's Board of Health. Oh, Greendale. My name is Amai Turner. I am the executive director of the Milwaukee Area Health Education Center. And our mission and focus is one, to uh, diversify the healthcare workforce by exciting and um, involving young people, especially young people of color and those who come from disadvantaged backgrounds. And the other issue we are concerned with is, of course, healthcare. Everybody we advocate for the uninsured and vulnerable populations. Um, and we, we, come to the, we come at the problem, one, if we increase the number of uh, people of color in the healthcare workforce, we are making the, the, the healthcare more accessible to people who can't afford it. So we focus on cultural competency for providers and health literacy in other mm -hmm. subjects. And this is something very important to me close to my heart. And being 60 and working for a nonprofit where health insurance gets mm -hmm. more and more expensive to the point where it gets, you know, ridiculous. So I totally have a vested interest in this and I'm delighted to be here. My name is Arnold Michaelis. I'm an independent IT consultant. I've been working um, I have a broad range of clients, but I've been focused on healthcare IT since 1999. Uh, so I have that interest in healthcare. Also, being self employed, I have an interest in insurance and things of that nature. I'm also going to school full time at UWM for kind of a self styled health informatics degree, which is an information science major and healthcare administration minor, um, as well as a health informatics certificate. Um, very interested in all aspects. Oh. <laughs> I'm very interested in all aspects of healthcare reform, uh, particularly though, um, and if I have any sort of area of expertise, it would be uh, from a software standpoint of uh, electronic medical records and other types of clinical software, which I believe are extremely vital to lowering costs. I'm Tom Kowalski, I'm a retired pediatrician, a lifelong resident of Milwaukee. I've been a physician for 45 years. Uh, 
event consultant uh, to three of the local health departments, uh, now retired. And uh, I have a great interest in children's health, mental health issues, and I have strong feelings about questions about the quality of care of returning soldiers and uh, service people are receiving. I'm Stan Shepard and my wife is Marilyn Shepard wherever she is. <laughs> she uh, has uh, been in profession, the health profession for some 50, 50 some years. <coughs> I've been hanging out with her for 50 years, so uh, some of that has rubbed off on me. And so that's the, the extent of uh, my knowledge. But I, you did brought up something important to me that prevention is so important. I'm Seth Foley. I'm a family practice and public health doc uh, used to be health commissioner here in the city, so I'm familiar with public health administration. And currently work part-time at the medical college. I'm, I'm the chief medical officer at Healthcare for the Homeless and also for the Wisconsin Health Information Exchange, which is now sharing electronic health information between hospitals. Uh, I also do a lot of consulting in public health planning and emergency I'm Jackie Kowalski. I am a nurse by education and worked for the State Health Department for the last 25 years. I just retired this week. And I worked in the Southeast Regional Office as the field advisor for the immunization program, which of course is primary prevention. So uh, we worked both with public and private health partners and have also developed one of the most um, successful immunization registries in the nation. So I know what electronic health, what cost savings, uh, sharing of electronic information and data can lead to. Uh, I also know what primary prevention can do. And I've also done international work. And we've seen communities ravaged by disease where there is no health care and there is no prevention. So we're very, very concerned about putting prevention and putting public health back in the mix. Uh, public health is for everyone because it assures clean air. Uh, clean water and healthy communities. And while we all have a right to health care, our current system really concentrates on sickness care. Uh, it doesn't concentrate on health. And so we need wellness and, and health promotion at the forefront of whatever it is that we do. I'm very concerned too about the very vulnerable populations, um, knowing that here in Milwaukee um, that our fetal and infant mortality rate is as high as or higher than many developing and developed countries in the world. So we do have an obligation to take care of the very vulnerable, whether that's infants, new mothers, the elderly, returned veterans, the disabled, and everyone equally. But people have a right to health, but also to a healthy community. Um, since so many of you already mentioned the health care issues that are uh, dearest to you, I wondered if you wouldn't just, uh, those that do, did mention a particular recommendation or, or concern, if you would just start listing those on that, uh, our flip sheet here. There's a nice green pen there. Um, yeah. But well, we need to have a big, thick pen. I don't know if that's, that's thick. Is that the top? Try this. that the only way to, con at the partnership to fight chronic disease, we believe the only way to control health care costs is to shift from, as you said, sick care to, to health care, care that's focused on people, getting, keeping people well and, and keeping people managed once they have a diagnosis. So we, we are all about policies that put prevention, wellness, and appropriate management of disease front and center as a top priority in policy making. I can't 
that's not working. The paint we used for all the new tabs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we decided. Yeah, it was well. My concern is that I think the consumers of this country uh, think in terms of health care as medical care or as sickness care. That's it. And health care is much broader than that. It includes public health, it includes primary prevention, it includes dentistry, it includes um, many other um, health care providers and, and different, uh, different uh, delivery systems that help us all to be healthy in communities that are healthy. 